Well, a couple of new things. Uh, first of all, it's now eight of the nine refrigerated containers that are no longer working. Uh, and, and the ninth will fail soon, which means that these chemicals, as the representative from our chemist said, will degrade, they'll heat up, they'll catch fire. There is still the potential for actual explosions. What they tell us has happened so far is that pressure valves on the tanks in these containers released. That's the popping that people heard. And we actually heard some more popping during the, the news conference a short time ago. Uh, and, and it's basically inevitable. The plant is flooded. They can't move these things out of there. So what they've done is they've established this mile and a half perimeter. No one's getting anywhere near the plant. And as these things uh, burn up, potentially explode, they'll just let them burn out. Uh, it certainly is, uh, is an irritant, literally and figuratively, to the people who live around here. Uh, 300 or so homes that have been evacuated uh, uh, as soon as the plant flooded with the idea that this was going to happen. And they can't say when they're going to let people back. They're saying they'll let people back when it's safe. When is it safe? Well, when the water recedes and then when the chemicals burn out. And no one really knows how long that will take. You heard a lot of back and forth about toxicity. And what they seem to be saying is that these, these chemicals are noxious. And I asked, well, what will they do to you if you breathe them in? They'll irritate you, but they won't kill you. Uh, nonetheless, they won't say that they're non-toxic any more than smoke from a campfire is non-toxic. Uh, but it's a, a hot, intense flame, we're told by the fire officials here. And so uh, it, it's really sort of a waiting game, a very frustrating waiting game here. Uh, but it is now inevitable that this 36,000 pounds or so of uh, organic peroxide compounds will burn and some will potentially explode. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.